What's up, boys and ghouls? I am Chef Patrick Stark, the Stark Raving Chef, the executive chef of Sundown at Granada, and I am here at the University of North Texas today to celebrate National Food Day. I'm very blessed to be here, and what's cool about this epic event is that we're teaching people and students the importance of fresh food as well as sustainable agriculture. So in honor of my charity, the Mohawk Militia, UNT, or the University of North Texas, has made a special Mohawk Militia ice cream flavor. You guys gotta check this out. This is really, really cool. Now the colors of my charity are red, black, and white, and what they've done is added cherries, dark chocolate, and vanilla, and put it into one creamy, delicious bowl of ice cream. So we're gonna set this on fire. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. So here's the skinny on making the Mohawk Maltop Jubilee. You're gonna need some butter, some cherry pie filling, some fresh ground nutmeg, some cherry liqueur, some brandy, and some fresh orange zest. It's just really gonna make it pop. So what's cool about this, this is a really easy, easy dish to do. Anybody can do it, but there is the element of fire, so you do have to be careful. So it's a one pot shot, as I like to call it. We're gonna add in a little bit of butter. We're gonna melt that down. Everything goes better with butter, right? We're gonna add in our cherries. Mm, smell what the Stark is cooking. We're gonna take a large pinch of fresh nutmeg. Kinda stir it around. It's getting nice and hot. Now this is the fun part, and please be safe at home. We're gonna add in our cherry liqueur. Houston. We have clearance. All right. We're just gonna let this cook off because if you don't let the alcohol cook off, you're gonna be left with a, a very alcoholic cherry flavoring and it doesn't really taste good. So we're gonna reduce this down so it almost gets to about a syrup. Just let it keep cooking it up. Hence the Maltoff aspect of this Jubilee. You notice the flame will start to cook all the way out. We're gonna add in some fresh orange zest right here at the end. Cut off your heat. So once all the alcohol is cooked off, it's now time to ladle some of this deliciousness right on top of your favorite bowl of ice cream. And there you go. So for more information, check out www.dining.unt.edu and www.starkravingchef.com. And as always, stay Mohawk friendly.